Topic eight: Use of force and firearms. Command and supervisory officials establish and enforce clear standing orders on the use of force and firearms. Provide regular training in first aid, self-defense, the use of defensive equipments, the use of non-lethal weapons, the use of firearms, crowd behavior, conflict resolution, stress management, and persuasion mediation and negotiation. Acquire and issue defensive equipment including helmets, shields, bulletproof vests, gas masks. Bulletproof vehicles acquire and issue non-lethal incapacitating and crowd dispersal instruments. Acquire the broadest possible range of means for the differentiated use of force. Provide for periodic assessments of officers to gauge continuously their mental and physical and suitability to judge the necessity and use of force and firearms. Provide stress counseling for all officers involved in the use of force. Establish clear reporting guidelines for every incident. of the use of force or firearms strictly regulate the control storage and issuing of firearms including procedures for ensuring that officers are accountable for arms and ammunition issued to them provide prohibit the use of weapons and ammunition which cause unwarranted injury damage or risk periodically check to ensure that only officially used weapons and ammunition are being carried by officers provide appropriate sanctions for any officers found in possession of non officially issued materials especially such as fragmentation hollow point or dum dum bullets develop strategies to reduce the risk that officers will be forced to use firearms